So, what is climate engineering? No, I don't know. I guess I have like absolutely no idea what that might be. To me, it's when I go to the American Museum of Natural History and... I would say uh, it might have something to do with the climate, of course. Mechanical engineers make mechanical objects and machines. Um, I see the room for the butterflies and somehow they've made it humid. I know electrical engineers uh, create circuits and electronics. It might have something to do with uh, rain, water, you know, weather, temperature, humidity. Uh, they have all these butterflies that belong in the tropics, but they've created this perfect home for them. Just like these trees. Nature's climate engineers. Uh, maybe even elements like eco-sustainability. Uh... That's climate engineering. For me it is. That doesn't make sense. Can you give a better answer? That makes sense. I suppose climate engineers would create the climate? Climate engineering is when you play God and do things you're not supposed to do. That seems odd. Uh, uh, you know, just a boring finance guy. I'm not sure what that might uh, actually be. Climate engineering isn't something you can easily look up in a lot of books, although it is an increasing kind of field of, of study and research, but it's a term that we at TransSolar really developed in order to describe our work because it's fairly unique. Climate engineering is the design of indoor and outdoor environments to maintain a certain set of desired conditions in response to the outdoor climate so that the indoor conditions stay within a desired range or are still comfortable and useful for whatever purpose they're desired for, but that range is recognized to fluctuate through the year in response to the outdoor environment and is working together with the physical design of the indoor or outdoor space to do accomplish that with as little energy input as possible. There you go. That's climate engineering.